Hello there, this is DBT and this Art of Rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt Date. And today, I'm gonna be doing a multiplayer protest of this car. <laughs> it's the Renault something something, I can never remember the name. R5 Turbo 3. Oh yeah, baby. Now, this is a car of Class C that I acquired a little bit of time ago. And I'm gonna talk about the performance and all of that. But man, is it not an interesting car? I really haven't driven it properly ever since I pro it, so I'm really curious to see how it performs. And while I normally don't love electric cars, I mean, just look at that ginormous wing. How could I say no to it? And I'm in sort of an electric mood thanks to the Formula E, uh, Formula E Gen 2 Cup and all of that stuff. So I thought, hey, okay, fine, let's review an electric. And might as well, since I'm in the correct league, to start driving some Class E. So might as well but before we go into that you know what to do hit the like button if you enjoy my content and also subscribe to the channel because i always say it i post literally daily there's always something to watch so why not but all right so let's go into classic season like i said i'm only in this league which means that i get to drive class d or c i'm gonna go for class c where this car belongs and you can see i only have six races done so far so let's let's do a few more but in terms of the stats, as I always say, these stats don't tell me a whole lot of anything because all of the cars are kind of samey. And the thing that matters the most being the acceleration is not very reliable in here. So again, this doesn't tell me anything, but in case you were curious. And unfortunately, this car does not have any liveries. While this livery is cool because of the animated uh, tail lights and this, I don't know, this whatever this front light is called, that bar. Um, the, the livery is cool, but I wish it did have some other color options still. You know, it looks good with that ginormous wing. So, all right, let's find some races and see what the heck can this car do. And it is very early in the season. Uh, like I said, I've only done six races, just enough to get out of the beginner or whatever it's called, the, the first league. So uh, there's definitely going to be a decent chunk of players playing. And hopefully they're going to go all triple boosted and all. So for me to figure out how good or bad this vehicle is. But man, at least it looks very interesting. What does it sound like? Uh, like an electric not oh god that's a speed trick totally speed trick it was on purpose actually that uh, did get me um pretty far ahead huh i saw that there was a mosquito in this race meaning a uh, mp4 8 which is a very 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 strong car in this bracket though it does have a bit of a weakness when it comes to the nitro duration and so far i mean this is my first race with this car but it does seem that the nitro on this thing it's pretty good i mean cars that are well, let's face it, this slow compared to, you know, other cars in, in other classes. Oh, God. Well, that drift is really sharp. Holy moly. Well, it could have been also an assisted drift. But anyway, um, yeah, slowish cars of the lowest brackets. It, it, it's really noticeable when the Nitro just starts running out and you're like, wait, why? That's because you move very slow. But this Nitro definitely seems very, very useful. And by the way, what I meant by assisted drift is kind of like this. You know that over here, any car will drift insanely good uh, because the, the game has something in this type of... In some turns, in some tracks, um, the game has like additional downforce. I don't know what it is, but it makes you drift way, way, way better than your car normally does. So I've, that's why I'm not, I'm not ready to make a judgment yet on the drift of this thing. But my first race with this thing, it's a W. Let's go, baby! Defeating Acrobat C7 Audi R8 LMS Ultra mp4 8 uh nissan skyline and there's the another mp4 8 oh let's go baby all right that might just been might have been just luck but still good result for the very first race huh and i want to make a little bit of a clarification oh look at my hoodie it doesn't load this person is also wearing my hoodie so i appreciate that but i want to make a clarification when i say that i'm recording this relatively early in the season maybe this video is coming out considerably after uh, considerably late after i have recorded it the reason for that is because um, I am currently getting sick. Yay! I'm getting the flu. It might be noticeable in my voice that I'm a little bit... I don't know what's the word for that, but when you, your nose is stuffed and you speak kind of weird. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting, getting at. So I'm preparing a bunch of videos to have for the channel in case it really becomes a bit of a bigger problem, me being sick where I won't be able to record for a little bit. I want to have a few videos um, to upload in the channel, you know, for for those moments. So that's why why this video was recorded in the second or third day of the season being up. But probably that wasn't me knocking. Oh, it was me knocking him down. How? Anyway, um, so yeah, this was was recorded like 
on the second or third day of this season being up though this video might be released i don't know when maybe like a full week after who knows but we'll see um so yes i just gotta I, I just gotta be ready for whenever there's cases like that where i'm i'm getting sick because i don't like leaving the channel without content and while i can do some content that doesn't require me talking um you know the the i would say that the bread and butter of the the content in the channel is precise ah! it's the commentary i don't know what happened there i tried to to engage a drift again but somehow i missed oh well third place it was gonna be second place but somehow i messed up well done dbt well done all right but i did beat a uh, corvette c7 and mp4 8 this is probably the one that got knocked down i say got knocked down and apparently i knocked him down but wasn't on purpose i wasn't even close to trying so there you go oh look at that well i'm waiting here for the race to to begin um we got a, per, a one person from the previous league participating against classic cars but how it's because they're driving the newly bugged the aerial atom and i say newly bugged because this car given the the regular rank for it well look at the rank 1410 um it should be class c but for some reason they moved it into class d i think that's indeed a bug so yes it's he's driving a class d car but because of which bracket it is at it gets to compete against us so if he by any chance beats any of us he's gonna get a lot of points from that so that's actually a good way to um to rank up i imagine if you if you have the car at pro then yes that that could probably help to get out of the beginner league real quick what's happening with my textures they're nowhere to be found okay fine fine look at that man everything looks so ugly all right so as far as acceleration it seemed on par with the acceleration of the aerial atom now how good is the acceleration of the aerial atom i have no idea i own the car but i have not pro it though i do have a bunch of class uh d direct upgrade so maybe i should work on this car because it's one that i think looks pretty cool it's definitely a racing oh no that was mine um it's definitely a racing car and you know that i love anything that looks racing like because of the wing and all of that stuff I mean, just look at this thing that I'm driving right now. It's ridiculous. And it's electric. And I still appreciate it because that wing is something else. It's something else, I tell you. All right. I'm worried about my nitro in that. Ooh, I managed to get the flat spin snake. Um, that DeLorean behind me has, has, has really good nitro overall. So it kind of makes sense for me to be careful with having some nitro. And I'm so close to this guy that he's probably gonna be picking oh god a bunch of nitro bottles and leaving me to starve that's why i gotta be careful too. what did i say nitro problems nitro problems man oh he's gonna get past me i swear i'm not trying to hit anybody i'm just trying to drift ah! <laughs> let's go baba yeah i was just trying to drift really badly wow that was really close holy moly that was a fun race jeez all right look at that 132 165 uh and also 100 and some milliseconds but that was pretty close man i appreciate you guys that was a fun race fun little race let's go Woo! someone else wearing the hoodie why are my textures not loading i think i'm gonna restart the game after this race because it's annoying how these textures are not appearing and it seems to do the, the emulator seems to do this when uh, it's been running for a little bit because the spoiler alert by the time i'm recording this i've already recorded another video because like i said i'm really trying to to cover my 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 basis here on having some content for the channel in case that my flu gets worse and i cannot talk without sneezing or my nose is incredibly uh clogged up so yes i need to have some some stuff here in the channel so yes all right that guy went for a really long drift there and he slowed down a ton oh my god i'm so sorry buddy oh man you <laughs> wasn't trying to knock you down you just happened to touch me right then and there oh sorry man It's fine everything is fine everything's all right i mean i feel i hope that the guy that i knocked down wasn't the one wearing the dbt hoodie because if it was i'm just gonna feel even worse like oh look at him wearing my my hoodie and then dbt proceeds to knock him down mercilessly even though i wasn't even trying in fact he if anything he touched me i didn't touch him all right i wanted to be very clear it was not consensual okay okay joke's over but yeah i'm gonna restart the game because this is 
it's kind of annoying that I cannot see the textures. And I want to show off my hoodie and all you get to see it's a big blur of black and, and yellow. So that's not fantastic. Second place, not a bad result. Um, oh, it was actually the Maserati that, that quit. Nebi, Nibai, uh, with the MP4 8 stayed. Okay, that's cool. Nibai, what's the... Okay, let me let me see the podium. Was Nibai, Nibi, the one with the hoodie? It was. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, buddy. I really wasn't trying to knock you down. I don't know what happened there. We just collided and things happened very fast. I'm sorry. Let me restart the game. One restart later. All right, here we go. Restarted the game and... All right. Ten races. Oh, yeah, because I've done four races, right? That makes sense. Fair. Let's let's hope that the textures load this time. Nope, the textures are still refusing to uh, cooperate. Well done. Jeez, that's yeah. I don't know. And look, I am playing with an emulator, but even in my phone, when I do play in my phone, because I do, um, it still has this problem. It is not as bad as the problem is here on the emulator, but it's still there. And I thought that maybe it was a, a RAM issue, so I assigned as I assigned a gigabyte of RAM for the emulator and even then that still was not enough so i don't know what to deal with that it's annoying i don't believe that this issue is present in ios uh oh i think there's a sneeze coming i think there's a sneeze coming oh no i think it's stuck oh my eyes are watering now ah oh, i hate this no i think it went away all right well r.i.p my sneeze um, but yeah, I don't believe that this issue is seen in iOS. Uh, so it's probably a memory management situation with Android. I wonder if Windows users ever see this issue. I'm willing to say probably they don't. So yeah, I, I, my guess is that there's some, some sort of management of memory within Android that it's causing this to be kind of messy, but oh well. All right, second place defeated by the MP48, but I did beat another MP48, though I think that's the one that crashed. So at least the one thing that I'm learning so far from these races is that the car can compete. It's not as quick to accelerate as an MP4-8, but it doesn't feel bad at all. Okay, this time I did load, so that's kind of cool. So I guess I should be thankful that at least I didn't sneeze in the middle of the recording. But having that sneeze stuck in my... wherever they get stuck, that's no fun. So yay. Oh yeah, look at that acceleration of that thing, man. I mean, it, it is known, right? The MP4-8, it's possibly the best accelerator or amongst the best accelerators of this bracket so it makes sense um but honestly this this the renault whatever turbo whatever it's putting up a fight so like i said it definitely has much better nitro than the mp4 8 does oh god i'm sorry buddy i'm sorry come on come on come on can i get yeah let's go about that um, the Nitro is definitely much better, so it's a different balance of, of, of a car, right? And before... Oh, God! Oh, God, what just happened? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, Jesus! Hold up, hold up. Come on, come on. Let me focus here, because I somehow messed up that drift, and that almost cost me my first place. Shut up, DBT. Believe it or not, talking in this type of videos literally... It, it really makes me not pay as much attention as I wish I could in in the races but like i said commentary is the is the bread and butter of this channel so i cannot make videos without commentary unless there are videos that you know don't need necessitate commentary like why am i gonna do commentary on a showcase of a brand right but for this yeah it makes sense and it's gonna be another w let's go baby i mean that requires some accidental but some pushing of the other car in order to get the first place but you know i kind of paid for it anyway um there we go beating an mp48 and an atom and the gran turismo sport but then again wasn't triple boosted so that doesn't tell me a whole lot of anything and come to think about it i believe that this is another car that has been premium only or maybe there was some other way to acquire it at some point other point but i do know that this was the very first car hunt that we got once the the festivals were quote unquote transformed into car hunts this was the very first one and yeah it was premium only and then there was i think it was another car hunt or something else that had this car i didn't buy this car when it originally came out because i didn't feel like paying the amount of money that they were asking for it but then there was much later another car hunt or maybe it was a racing pass or something that had this car in and i'm like okay I'm going to pay the price and for all of the rewards that I'm going to get there. And that's how I got this thing. And I eventually brought it out. 
But like I said, I barely ever drive, drove it. Even though, well, obviously being an electric, not my cup of tea. But just look at how crazy it looks. It's such a beautiful little weird thingy. Man, this thing is lovely. It looks so funky. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I wish it had a little bit of color options. But even then, at least it's not fully blacked out. So it makes it look kind of nice. Now, if you want to get a hard opinion, you need to leave me the keepers, which for today is going to be. If the future is electric silent, at least make the cars look crazy cool like this one. First person to pause it gets a hard pin and all of that good stuff. But well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.